Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use TLSS for upscaler in conjunction with FSR or XCSS frame generation. We'll be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. The guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X CD processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I've covered FSR frame generation before. Its smoothing effect worked nicely in this game but it did produce some noticeable graphical artifacts. For example, very ugly ghosting around a fast moving vehicle's bumper. Its shadow also used to flicker. When our character is low on HP, a vignette effect appears on the screen. This disables the smoothing effect of FSR frame generation. These issues are not present in the case of XSS frame generation. Just to be clear, the ghosting effect around a fast moving vehicle's bumper is actually caused by TLSS upscaler. This ghosting effect becomes more noticeable, more aggressive when we enable FSR frame generation but this does not happen in the case of XCSS frame gen. The game does not support TLA but you can use OptiScaler mod to force enable it. It will help in reducing this ghosting. I tried using the latest preview for version 0.9 build of OptiScaler mod. It was causing the game to crash whenever I switched to FSR frame generation. So I ended up using an older build version 0.9 preview 1. With this build both XCSS and FSR frame generation worked fine in this game. This build is available on OptiScaler Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Just click on the dot .7z link here. Version 0.9 preview 1. The game comes with a very old version of TLSS upscaler. I think it's version 2. I'll manually update it to the latest version. At the time of recording this video, it's version 310.4.0. You can download the upscaler's TLL file from Tech Power Ups website. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers, the download will start. I'll be verifying the upscaler's details using TLSS debug overlay. We'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC, name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter, yes. Select the file, right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. If you want to disable DLSS debug overlay replace number 4 here with 0, click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable DLSS debug overlay. Right click open. Yes, ok. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod, just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files OptiScaler.ini, OptiScaler.tll libxcss underscore fg.tll xcss frame gen file directx line version of xcss super resolution not required xcss super resolution file xcss low latency mode file fake nvapi.ini fake nvapi.tll now this game does not support nvidia reflex so i doubt xcss low latency mode will work when we enable xcss frame generation via optiscaler mod amd fidelity fx dx12 file right click copy I'll be running the Ubisoft Connect version of the game. Just open your Ubisoft Connect library. Click on the three dots below the game's box art. Click on Manage. Click on Properties. Click on Installation. Click on Open Folder. And this will open the game's install directory. Now open Bin Folder. Paste everything here. Just need to change the name of optiskillet.tll file to dxgi.tll. I'll update the in-game TLSS subscaler current version 2.1.39 just open the upscaler's archive file that you downloaded it earlier copy this TLL file nvngx underscore TLSS open the game's install directory open bin folder paste the file here replace highlight the file yes yeah, the latest version enabling hardware accelerated gpu shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using xcss frame generation but if you have an rtx gpu it's recommended to enable this setting right click anywhere on the desktop click on display settings click on graphics click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated gpu shuttling setting if your monitor supports vr enable the setting as well i'll enable vsync from nvidia control panel Click on Manage 3D Settings, click on Program Settings, from this drop down bar select Watch Dogs Legion, scroll down to the end, enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync, I enable the following settings, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. 
enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model i'll also enable g-sync compatible indicator this step is optional click on display and check this setting g-sync compatible indicator i'll be using optiscaler's hot fix feature to fix the ghosting produced around the hard elements this is why i won't be using afterburner or rtss i'll simply use nvidia's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics and also disable ubisoft connects overlay just open ubisoft connect line click on your profile click on setting click on interface and uncheck this setting enable in-game overlay for supported games we are ready to run the game play display settings mode set to borderless required for using xcss frame gen full hd resolution we think it's off no fps cap applied the game supports both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 modes. XCSS and FSR frame generation techniques don't support DirectX 11 mode. So just set DirectX version to 12. I'm using high to very high settings. Estimated VRAM usage 7.1 GB. Ray tracing is off. Post processing effects disabled like depth of field, motion blur, bloom. DLSS upscaler enabled. Using its quality preset cannot enable DLA from here. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. From the drop down bar, make sure DLSS is selected, version 310.4.0. It's mentioned even in DLSS debug overlay, render preset used is K. It's the transformer model of DLSS 4. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Enable auto explore setting from OptiScaler menu under init flag section. No frame generation selected. I'll enable OptiScaler's performance overlay, show you the base game performance first, FPS overlay enabled, full plus graph, save INI close, back to the game, yeah here we are getting close to 100 FPS, image quality it's looking very clean, not observing any ghosting around a character model, just drive my vehicle, observe its bump up, you will notice some ghosting around it, this ghosting effect becomes more noticeable when we are driving our vehicle at high speeds. The ghosting effect is produced by DLSS upscaler. FSR frame generation just makes this ghosting effect more aggressive. This does not happen in the case of XCSS frame gen. Oh my god, took out that guy. Okay, I'll just apply a 30 FPS cap now. FPS limit 30. This will make it easier for us to gauge the smoothing effect of either frame generation technique. See, animation quality, it's looking so choppy. As the FPS is capped at 30. Show you how to enable FSR frame gen. Just open OptiScaler mod menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select Opti FG upscaler as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSR FG as the option. Click on save INI. Close. Restart the game. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu, check this setting, active under frame generation FSI FG, allow async setting on, hotfix enable, limit value set to 1, you need to enable extended setting, otherwise game's hard elements will flicker. Now I'll show you FSI frame gen debug view. Yeah, no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for DLSS debug overlay, just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Games hurt won't flicker with FSR frame gen enabled. Color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR frame gen will work properly. But when our character is low on HP, vignette effect will appear. And then the smoothing effect of FSR frame gen won't work. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Disable debug view. Check out the smoothing effect of FSR frame gen. Yeah, we are getting 60 FPS. Animation quality is looking much better now, much smoother compared to the game running without FSR frame gen. Base FPS is still 30 here. Yeah, I am observing some latency as expected. But 10 by 10 when it comes to a smoothing effect of FSR frame gen. I will just engage in combat now. Yeah, there is the vignette effect. This disables the smoothing effect of FSR frame generation. See, moving the camera around, animation quality, it's looking choppy. Now it's looking smooth. 
Okay, time to drive a vehicle. Oh my god. Took out that lady. And just steal the vehicle. Observe the vehicle's bumper. Yeah, very ugly. Ghosting can be seen around the vehicle's bumper. Double images. Even our vehicle's shadow is flickering. We have seen something similar happen in Cyberpunk 2077. Just disable the in-game vignette effect and then enable in-game FSR frame generation. Drive your vehicle. You'll see the exact same graphical artifact. I'll show you how to switch to XCSS frame gen. Open OptiScaler mod menu. Just disable FSR frame gen first. Active uncheck, allow async uncheck, hurt fix, disable, extended, disable. Make sure Opti FGF scaler is selected as the frame generation source. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG. Save and close. 30 FPS cap is still applied. Yeah, we are in. Just open Opti scaler menu. Check this setting. Active under frame generation XCFG. Now it's a bit tricky to enable hotfix in this game. The thing is. When you enable hotfix, you need to quickly enable extended setting, otherwise the game will crash. Yes, you heard it right. So I'm going to do this quickly. Check hotfix, check extended. There you go. A delay of 2 to 3 seconds can cause the game to crash. Make sure hotfix limit value is set to 1. Frame time graph, yeah, it became thick. This means XCSS frame gen is working. You can check the debug view. You'll see these purple sidebars. This means XCSS frame gen is working and I can observe the right amount of smoothness, the animation quality. I'll just disable these sidebars. Disable debug view. Save and I close. Okay, I'll engage in combat. There's the vignette effect. Animation quality, it's still looking smooth. This smoothing effect gets disabled only when our character has very low HP. The screen turns grey in colour. I'll let him attack me. Yeah, see? Okay, time to escape. Waiting for my health to restore. I'll steal a vehicle. Just observe the vehicle's pump up. DLSS upscaler produces some ghosting. XSS frame generation does not make this ghosting effect more aggressive. Gain some speed. Less artifacts are produced by XCSS frame generation compared to FSR frame generation in Watch Dogs. Oh my god, head on collision. I'll be honest, I was expecting the latency to be much worse than this. I'll just uncap the FPS and show you how to enable DLA. And now we're getting close to 130 FPS. That's really good to see. Pottery smooth animation. Open OptiScaler mod menu. Check the setting override all under upscale ratio override. Move the slider all ratios to the left side. 1.000. This will enable DLA. Save and I close. We need to restart the game. Play. Yeah, we are in. FPS here is close to 130. That's really good to see. Check out the DLSS debug overlay. Base resolution full HD upscale to full HD resolution. This means DLA is working. Observe the vehicle's bumper. Barely any ghosting is produced and this is with XSS frame generation enabled. Yeah, animation quality it's looking so smooth. So very good results produced by OptiScale XSS frame generation in this game. Just make sure the base FPS is not below 60. This way latency won't be a problem. Just need to edit the overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. Yes, okay. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.